Today, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on how to create a custom maker's mark. All right, this time instead of jumping into Adobe Spark, go ahead and download Adobe Draw. So all of these are free. Uh, they might ask you to create a login, but I'm going to go to Adobe Draw. So once you're in there, you can create a new project and hit the plus sign to create a blank canvas. So I'm going to use this to add a custom graphic to my stamp so that it is totally my own thing. And I'm going to make a a K. All right, so I've got myself a K and I'm going to click the little arrow on the top that says copy image to gallery. And I'm going to save with a transparent background. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to Adobe Spark here. And just like before, we're going to hit the plus sign. And we're going to grab a solid color, select white, and hit next. The square is fine. And I think this time I'm going to make something a little different. There we go. So I'm just going to uh, change that color to black. And I'm going to go ahead and change this font to... That kind of cursive one that I like. So now I've got some text up there. I'm going to hit done and hit add. So this time I'm going to add an image from my gallery, got all my drawings and stuff. I'm going to add this K. Hit add. And now this is over the top of your. Uh, of your piece. So of course that's a, just a rough little uh, K, but if that was your logo, then boom, you've got yourself a nice custom piece on there. I think I uh, usually like to add some sort of a border around it. And just grab a circle or an oval or something like that. And drag that over the top of it. Change that color to black. And there we go. We've got Kenny's custom stamp with a custom logo drawn in it. So I will give a, another demo on how to do this uh, with a, a possibly a piece of paper that you have sketched your stamp onto because a lot of you guys who have me make custom stamps for you end up sending me something like that. So uh, hopefully this was helpful for your next step. If you liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe so you can keep getting notified when I post some more of these. If you had any questions about this, uh, comment it in the comment section. And as always, stay creative.